What's up, guys? Bart back in the kitchen. Uh, clearly, by the on atmosphere around here, you can tell that this is not my kitchen. It's actually my friend's kitchen. He's currently jerking off in the bathroom right now. But it's it's currently 12:49 at night, and we got the whole a.m. Not 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 p.m. We got the whole uh, gang up in here. Okay. So today, uh, as you can probably tell by the title, we're making a cake. It's uh, we're make we're using uh this brand right here. I'll get copyrighted if I uh, say this, but it's like moist white supremacy brand cake. So we're gonna open it up, and we have all these ingredients here. So first off, we're gonna need some uh, we're gonna need some uh, cooking oil. We're gonna need two eggs, just like it says on the back of the box. Two. Uh, and you're gonna need some extra ingredients, clearly, as you can see. So, let's get right, guys. I'm about to open this box, but as you can tell, I'm filming horizontally. No more vertical filming. If you guys are pissed about that in my last video, I can understand. But I'm gonna have to open this box right here of this uh, white supremacy stuff. Take it out. I'm gonna have my friend uh, John the camera, so you can be the cameraman. Say hi, John. Hi. Not this kid. Get lost. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna open this bag right here. Quality stuff. So we can knife. Just kidding. <laughs> I got this. Come on, dog, turn the yard. You, you just soiled it. Whoever said that. That was fine. Kidding. All right, pour it nice in. Some Parmesan cheese. This is actually Parmesan cheese. Just kidding. Okay, so now we take two eggs. I can hold some for this part, John. The fuck? Where, whoa. How did the box go? <laughs> All right, we're gonna take two eggs, crack them. Oh fuck, we're upside down. <laughs> we're gonna take two eggs, crack them gently over. <laughs> Shit. And then, then the other one will crack it. <laughs> okay, so I cracked open the egg. Um, I think the shells in. in. That's probably it right there. In there somewhere. There was clearly two eggs in there. And uh, the next step is uh some. <clears throat> Canola oil, but uh, as you can see clearly, we're out of canola oil, so we're gonna have to have to use Gatorade. <laughs> it's the only other option, and it says the box says the box the box says a half a cup of oil, so I guess we can just like play by eye, you know. That's about half a cup, half okay. of, of it right there. Yeah. And then we need some, then we need one cup of water, and we don't have water either. The sink got clogged actually because of a flood. And now we have to use the rest of the Coke for the cup. So that's, that's it. As you can tell, that looks like some grade A cake. Uh, the next part, we're gonna be adding ingredients, and I'll see you in a minute guys. So I'm gonna have to stir it for a little bit to get the cakey texture in. So let's go. Chef Curry. Hmm, that looks not liquidy at all, and must m a lot like a cake, right? Delicious. Scrumptious cake. Yum. All right. Uh, I'm not stirring for a couple seconds. I know we only had like a one and a half eggs actually reach the bowl, so like cheese is basically dairy products. So we're gonna have to add some cheese. It as our dairy substitute. Good enough. And uh, if you guys didn't notice, this is actually a fruit cake, so gotta add some fruit. This seems delicious. We're clearly not done yet. Oh, a couple Good more sense. fruit snacks. Good enough. So we're not done yet. Uh, pretzels, one barbecue chip. That's only one barbecue chip. Any more and the cake's gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be gross. One, two, three, four tortilla parts of the chip. 
one folded Cool Ranch Doritos. Only Cool Ranch, not nacho cheese. And then the last time was just for two and a half point three Lay's chips. And then you just like jab it like you're shanking people like you do every day. Because you have to get the blending together. And by the way, all these ingredients to give it a nice uh, cakey feel. So if you think it's a little liquidy, just add a, a couple more uh, ingredients. But never add any more barbecue chips, only that one. Or the cake's just gonna like get ruined. Just gonna stir it up a little bit more. Okay, and we'll be back when we're about to pour the cake. Alright guys, um, while I was waiting for the cake to develop all 35 STDs here, sitting by itself, I realized that this kid right here accidentally put, uh, or maybe he maliciously put, an extra barbecue chip inside the cake. And as you guys know, that will not do. That could, like, make it disgusting. So, uh, we're gonna have to sterilize the cake. And, I mean, I can only think of one way to do this. Just reach in and grab out the... Okay. Okay, guys, the cake has been sterilized. While I clean up the disgusting leftovers, I will... Alright, yeah. guys, uh, the cake has now been sterilized. Don't know if the STDs have been developed, but the floor has been clean. Uh, and the floor has been clean. Sorry. And, like, I know, like, you're like, how could you get it done so quickly? Well, you'll never believe what happened. So I was, like, about to take paper towels out, but you'll never believe who came up to the door. I heard the doorbell ring, the guy knocking on the door, I look outside, and it's fucking Mr. Clean. He comes in and mops the whole place in one shot. So now he's like, you can get back to filming easily. All right, so we're about to, oh fuck. All right, so my boy's right here. He's gonna tell us how to cook it up. Uh, he just told me through subliminal messages to get all the deep layers out here and put it into the pan, big pan. So we have to make sure you scrape every layer. If there's any like this uh, stuff left over, just ignore it and put it right in the cake because that's still good stuff. It hasn't been uh, quickly done yet. All the juiciness and crunchiness has still been, oh man, there's a flying piece right there. All right, so now that you got most of the stuff out, you have to make sure to spread it out evenly. And you can't hold chunks in one place. The chunks have to be, like, out here, like, all around. And if you're not getting... Here, let's get a close-up right here, John. If, you, if you're not getting all the edges thoroughly hit, then it's not going to be the true cake that you're going to want. So, now that this is done, and we're going to throw this spatula in the sink. Not SpongeBob here. We're going to open up the oven. And we're gonna have to preheat it. I think you have to shut it. We have to preheat the oven to 351 degrees. And then we're just gonna throw. See how it's preheated? You have to preheat it for about 10 and a half seconds. And then you just throw it to the back of the oven. All the way in the back. See this? Inside. You cannot keep it in the front or it's gonna burn. But you slightly move it up so it won't burn. Because it can't be in the back. Just ignore what I just said. Throw it in, and the oven should be heated up by now. Now, right, guys, just to inform you, uh, while I cook my cake, it says 34 to 38 minutes. But with, like, the barbecue chip and the pretzels and stuff, you have to add a zero to the uh, ends of both things. So it's 340 mi to 380 minutes. And right now, I believe that we're, uh, let's say, I think 143 minutes into it. So we're, like, nine and a half are done. But you can see the cake is already kind of rising. 
that, that's a pretty good sign. So, uh, make sure you take out the whole like 340 40 minutes, or it's not gonna settle right. And we'll see when we take. Uh, I think the cake's about done. We're just gonna take it out. Uh, oh shit, guys! All right, we have cooked the box recipe. I guess that's why what we get for using the back of the box, not our own original ideas. So I guess we're gonna have to. Um, no, maybe the cake's done. Uh, the cake's about done. We're just gonna take it out. Uh, oh shit, guys! All right, we have cooked the box recipe. I guess that's why what we get for using the back of the box, not our own original ideas. So I guess we're gonna have to. Um, I don't know. Maybe the cake's still in there. All right, the cake's not in here somewhere. It's not. I put it on. It's not. I was talking about Camilla oil we were missing before. We substituted this for Gatorade, so we didn't even need this, but I guess it's in there too. That's why it was in the box, probably. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll find an egg in there too. Who knows? Two oven mitts. Let's just carefully extract the cake from the dangerous hospital situation. Alright, guys. I think I can see the cake now. This does not look like a. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, fuck. Oh, it looks like tortilla. Let's take a look at this prized cake. Damn, that looks like a tortilla. Let's put it back over here. My hand's about to burn. These are going to suck. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're about to extract the cake from this pan, and then we're going to cut it up and serve it for a nice So dinner. that's the boxes. We're going to have to insert a toothpick uh, to make sure the thing is, like, I guess, well done, cooked. If the toothpick isn't wet, then I guess it's going to be fine. So, let's... What the fuck is it? God damn. No. It's a barbecue chip. All right, guys. If I didn't explain why I only kept the barbecue chips out of it, because one barbecue chip gives it like an extra zang flavor and nice and tangy, but if you add two barbecue chips or more, you get explosive diarrhea for three weeks. And I don't know about you, but when you're in school and running the pacing test, I don't think you want brown soot coming out of your ass. That's a no-no. So, fuck. Who's Fucking ass! Is it fucking you? Did you put this fucking chip in? Eat the chip. That's what they get. Fuck. This has been contaminated. I. The water bottle's not wet, so it should be fine. This cake is well cooked and done, as you can see. What about the serve? It looks cake. Go. Right here. There's clearly no uh, like any like uh, toppings or anything on it. We probably gotta add icing, but see now we don't have any icing, so we're gonna have to add uh. Oreo in the middle of it, I guess. So we have to take this off. Who fucks playing copyrighted music? <laughs> <laughs> no copyright search on my channel. Alright, what? <laughs> okay. All right we're, so now we have to extract the icing from the Oreos and nice spread it out across the cake. Make sure to like rub it around, just like butter, so it gets in there. You don't see it, but it just gets all around. And you're gonna have to have a six pack of Oreos, not like the big things. And you're gonna have to eat two and then take take two of them. <laughs> this guy sucks. The fuck was that? <laughs> Butter him up right here, man. So what you're saying is that we have That's gonna catch on. Butter him up, mark my words. That's the new catch rates of the, of the 21st century. Okay. So almost done. <laughs> Someone just ripped ass. They must have had two barbecue chips. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh. Oh. Man, everything's going wrong right now. Alright, so we're going to have to take the last piece of icing right here and put it in the last corner that has not been buttered up yet. And with all these, I mean, you can... With all these Oreo things that, like, no one ate because these are fucking gross without the insides, you can just chuck them at kids that don't play royalty for music. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, guys. So I got my expertise cutter right here slash cameraman John, the best guy in the world, hey. and he's cutting up the cake That's easily. What's up? You don't want? Do you have to? It's only for the true yeah. fans. Explicit. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the haters. 
Oh, oh man, man. look at that I'm fine not. dining. I'll take the first piece. Fine. There's only like two things to remember. Nothing. Now you gotta fine play. dining. Get a plate and breathe it. Get a plate. That's like a only fucking thing. Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> 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 okay, I got who wants a who wants the I first got, bite? I got it. I got it. It's mine. So oh, John, don't eat Dante's that. Got We're gonna go serve it up Dante. at the dinner table. Uh, I just like did an expertise cutting job at this, but as I turned this one piece, I looked at like this red stuff and I'm like. What happened? And I realized quickly that one of the fruit sacks must have exploded inside the oven. So now it's, this cake's gonna explode. <laughs> oh crap, it didn't even move. What? It's like a brick. I'm serving it to them, they're not gonna know. I'll put it back in the head. Also, I, if you guys didn't notice, I never took the eggshells out. So we're gonna kind of be playing like eggshell roulette. Hopefully no one chokes to death. Uh, hopefully they can't hear me. They're all sitting at the dinner table. I'm gonna roll it up into a nice uh, hobo bowl, and then we're gonna uh, transport it to the guys on the what table. <laughs> My boy Dan, this is his house, by the way. He's not. <clears throat> he's not having me because he doesn't want to choke to death. Um, never said that. Okay, guys, eat up. <laughs> oh shit! I need any. I'm taking this piece. Mm. Here you go, bro. My fave. Oh my god! It's two in the morning, by the way. So uh, if you guys aren't eating. Then you guys are going to starve to death. Oh my god! That's a big show. I can't even rip it apart. Really? Well, it was pretty soft when I had it. Let's take a bite. Oh. Terrible. Not, Terrible. Not that bad. Ew, there's an orange explosion in mine. You know what? If I didn't break uh, all it's my fillings bad. while I took a bite of this cake, then... Yo, wait, wait what's this? Bro, he thinks it's great. That's good. Wait, I can actually taste some like jam in here. All right, but honestly, if I didn't break some of my fillings while I bit into this cake, uh, it would be probably pretty good. My boy, uh, does anyone stop braces? I you can, do, Matt? I can oh, take Good thing on. Uh, did you break a brace? No. <laughs> brace safe. All right? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. What did he just throw? Um, this is the one I put in. But it's very crunchy and gross. <laughs> the feel, maybe it, oh fuck, it's the eggshells. <laughs> Bro, this guy, this brain surgeon over here, figured out why it's so crunchy. I guess I'm gonna choke to death, but I didn't because the eggshells were in tiny pieces. Brace is great. What is it? What do you call? What do you say? Kill yourself. <laughs> you, guys, you guys would have thought I'm going out without a bloopers video in my videos, even though I am at my friend's house. Uh, I am. Going to leave slowly. <laughs> Go. You found my friend's house. It's two o'clock at night. I'm walking home. I live across town. Bye. <laughs>